Hello everybody, Local Lego Man here and welcome back to yet another Lego Marvel review. Now, as you may know, I was able to get my hands on the No Way Home Final Battle set early, which I reviewed for all of you on the channel. But, there was actually another Final Battle set that came out within that wave. That being, set 76226 containing 794 pieces and retailing for $100, the Endgame Final Battle set. And this is a really interesting one, depicting one of the big team-up scenes with in the final battle and I was really interested in this set and I'm kind of interested to see where it ranks with the No Way Home final battle so without further ado let's check it out. Now this set ain't half bad but before we get into the main build we first need to take a look at the figures starting off with Wanda Maximoff aka the Scarlet Witch and this figure is pretty much a culmination of all of the best Wanda figures coming with these two red blast pieces as an accessory and using the torso from the Endgame final battle set of 2021 with the face print of Wanda that came in the Sanctum Sanctorum modular set, and Wanda even has a waist cape which hasn't been used for the figure since the Civil War airport battle set. I should also mention that Wanda has an angry expression, and overall, I think this is one of the best and most accurate Wanda figures that we have ever gotten, although I do wish that we had gotten some leg printing. Next up, we have Shuri, and this figure has both of her vibranium gauntlets as an accessory, and overall, this is a very cool figure, with some spot-on alternate face printing, along with a very detailed torso print, but this figure definitely isn't exclusive, as we have gotten the same Shuri figure within the Black Panther Dragon Flyer set, as well as the 4 Plus Shuri's Lab set. And to be honest, since this is a pricier set, it would have been awesome to get some leg printing, since that leg printing would pretty much make this figure perfect. After that, we have Carol Danvers, aka Captain Marvel, and she comes with these two orange Power Blast pieces, and I think this figure is pretty spot on with some stellar torso printing, but like like Shuri, this figure also appeared in another set, that being the Sanctuary 2 Endgame Battle, and yet again, this is a figure that really could have used some leg printing, since that would have made this the definitive Captain Marvel figure. And I should also mention that Captain Marvel has dual facial expressions, with this happy expression, as well as this angry expression. Next up, we have Okoye, and Okoye comes with her vibranium spear, and although this is quite honestly a stellar figure, this is another non-exclusive figure, with this version of Okoye coming in this year's Advent calendar as well as the Black Panther War on the Water set, and the Hulkbuster The Battle of Wakanda set. And although this is technically the second time that we have gotten this figure since it does have shoulder armor, it's again still pretty disappointing that we have all of these reused figures, which probably saved LEGO quite a bit of money, but they instead chose to just save the extra money instead of putting it towards improving these already existing figures. After that, we have Valkyrie, and Valkyrie comes with her Dragon Flame Sword, and this is one of the best better figures within this set, using the phenomenal hair and face prints from the Goat Boat set, as well as this very detailed torso print, but again, this is yet another figure that could have used some leg printing, but nonetheless, it's still a very solid figure, and I should also mention that Valkyrie has an alternate facial expression with this big grin. Next up, we have a micro figure, that being Wasp, and this is the same micro figure included within the Ant-Man construction figure, and this is a very detailed micro figure, but to be completely honest, I think it would have been a lot cooler to add in a regular wasp figure since we haven't gotten a wasp figure since the sets for Ant-Man and the Wasp, but nonetheless, it's still a cool inclusion and obviously it has been heavily rumored that we are going to be getting a new minifigure scale wasp figure within the new Avengers Tower set coming out in November, so it's not that big of a deal. And last but most certainly not least, we have Thanos. And this Thanos comes with his double-edged sword, although to me it kind of looks like a double-sided butter knife, and this is a pretty solid version of Thanos using the same body that that was introduced within the Endgame Final Battle set from 2021, but this one includes a new face print with this awesome angry expression, and to be honest, apart from the sword, my only gripe is that the big fig arms were not printed, but that's not really something that's needed, so overall, great figure. Alrighty, now that we've taken a look at all of the figures within this set, it's time to take a look at the set as a whole, and although I'm very mixed on the figures, I'm most certainly not on the build, which I think looks great, and there are so many awesome details, like this portal at the top of the build where you can position Valkyrie on her Pegasus, as well as this brick-built Avengers logo, and even Luis's van, which we initially got in perfect condition within the Endgame Final Battle set of 2021, but is now destroyed in this set, and I really like how the back window sticker is pretty 
pretty much identical to the one from that set, just with some obvious battle damage. Apart from those cool exterior damage, there are also a few hidden details which can be seen by opening up the set, which was a feature I most certainly was not expecting, but is a great inclusion that helps the set stand out from the No Way Home final battle set. And these secret details include Captain America's shield, the Time Stone, Mjolnir, and this rat in the hood of Luis's van, which is a great reference to the start of the movie. And apart from just being an awesome display model, that's pretty much it. So if I had to rate this set, what would I rate it? I would definitely rate this set a four out of five. I think it is so close to being perfect, but with some extremely jarring exclusions, like Pepper Potts in a rescue uniform, Mantis Gamora, Nebula, Spider-Man in the Iron Spider suit, the actual Nano Gauntlet, which is the main catalyst for the battle, is kind of ridiculous. And it's honestly crazy because Lego could have easily made this set like a five out of five set, but they just didn't include some things. And that along with the fact that literally not a single figure in the set has leg printing kind of gives it that four out of five. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see all of you in the next Lego video. Bye!